Companies, such as Opta, collect more and more soccer data. This process of manually collecting data results in huge XML files describing each event. As a result, soccer analysts use simplified data to get insights and illustrate their findings. We present Soccer Stories, a tool dedicated to advanced analysis of complex soccer data by analyzing game phases. We designed this system in collaboration with soccer analysts. After the analyst selects a game, a team, and the range of data to consider as context for this game, the interface proposes different elements. The timeline, indicating when phases occur, where color encodes the output of the phase, the focus view, where phases are shown and analyzed in detail, the lineup, with some basic statistics, the small multiples view, to select, compare, and navigate into phases, and finally, an area that displays annotations generated from the data. First, the analyst navigates to a phase of interest on the timeline. By hovering a dot, the corresponding phase pops up in a thumbnail view. By clicking the dot, the events constituting the phase are animated in chronological order on the focus view. Each node represents a player's action, dotted links are passes, and squiggly lines occur when a player moves with the ball. The phase ends with an attempt to score a goal. Note that the same interaction is available using the small multiples view. Once the phase is on the focus view, a node representing a player's action can be selected. This highlights all of the actions within the phase that the player performs, and displays the player's statistics within the selected context range. The core characteristic of soccer stories is the use of faceted views to group action phases. We derived heuristics from soccer analysis experts, allowing grouping events and simplifying each phase. This is achieved using faceted views. Each visualization is designed for a particular subset of actions and all of the facets are linked together. Such faceted views are node link diagrams or heat maps. The transition from the original node link diagram to a visualization is achieved in several steps. First, the convex hull surrounding the node fades in. Then, the nodes are animated to their respective position in the future visualization. The links and the convex hull follow the nodes during the animation. The convex hull then takes the shape of the future visualization. Nodes and links are stylized according to the facet to which they belong, and finally, the convex hull fades out while the faceted view fades in. Once a faceted view is built, it is possible to switch to another faceted view. Animations try to preserve the node's visual consistency, and each facet stylizes the nodes and links according to the facet's characteristics. Each faceted view has its pros and cons. The analyst can then switch from one visualization to another according to his or her task. For example, their task may depend on the spatial position of action, the chronological order of events, and the frequency at which a player appears within a series of passes. We added generated annotations to facilitate the exploration of a phase. Simple sentences are generated from the data and linked to faceted views on the focus soccer field. The layout of the focus phase can be customized. If, for example, the automatic layout involves visual clutter or overlap, the analyst can drag and drop each faceted view. Soccer Stories also provides several layouts, including a 2D layout and a more abstract horizontal alignment. As the shots on goal are the most important events during a soccer game, the associated faceted view is highly interactive and allows a deep exploration of data. Here, the shots on goal constituting the context are shown on a split view and colored according to their outcome. The left side shows the top view of the half of the soccer field where the shots are occurring. The right side shows a front view of the goal. Statistics on shot types are available. Shots can be filtered by type. Shots can also be filtered by brushing, either in the top view, in the front view, or both. For example, by selecting the shots outside the penalty area, the analyst may notice that only 2% of the shots were goals, while inside the penalty area, 20% of the shots were goals. When too many shots are displayed as context, the spray mode identifies dense and sparse areas using a dual heat map. The previously mentioned interactions are available. 
While not the main purpose of soccer stories, the small multiples view was highly appreciated by analysts because they proposed several representations of phases and led to different insights. For example, the small multiples view can highlight the temporal dimensions of the phases, or represent only the actions on a thumbnail in 2D, or align the phases according to the total distance the ball traveled, or create more fun visualizations, such as this donut. New visualizations are easy to implement using the D3 library. One interesting view represents the phase as it would be displayed on the focus view using faceted views. The small multiples view gives a global sense of what is happening and provides an easily readable fingerprint for each phase.